This is how easy it is to move. So it's just a case of getting it down now. We'll have this down in 10 minutes, 15 minutes easy because once the top's out, it's just chop, chop, chop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to get a genius. Yeah? Yeah. Good Thursday morning. Yes, the 5th. Thursday the 5th of October, Halloween approaches, and it's a wet one. <clears throat> but we're finished. Well, we're finished on the extension. All the outdoor work's finished apart from a tiny bit of patching, a bit of snagging. It's Steel's day today. There's the steel at the end of the drive. That's got our hard hats. Well, we have our hard hats. So, um, the yeah, we're gonna get um, we've got visors on them, but they do get warm inside if you have a visor on. So, I'm taking my visor off, I'm gonna put my mask on, and we're gonna get this finished. We're gonna get this finished. Um, I say that because we're staying till it's finished because we need to be away from here today. We've been here, we've been here nearly two weeks with, the, with all the um, delays and stuff, but um. We need to get this boxed off and get paid and move on to the next one, which I haven't arranged yet. So um, I want to get my boots on, I want to get inside. Right. She's got my headphones, because I'll be having my ear defenders on for a bit. I'm going to take Alex's, so we can listen to our own music. I'll take you inside. There's the steel. This is how easy it is to move. Absolutely brilliant, those things. Thanks to Robbie and Robbie for the idea, and thanks to my mum for buying us them from that, from Aldi. Fantastic. So, all finished up there. So, that feels good to have it finished in the rain. I mean, I'm not being affected by it. This is where we're up to. The joists in the main room have stopped here because there's a chimney stack here, so that looks like a trim around the chimney breast. So we're going to have to prop from this side now. So we're going to bring the steel through, and put it on a, per a couple of well, put it on the floor first. No, it won't fit. Yeah, it might just go on the floor. And then we're going to just bring the trestles so we've got it halfway up and then we come in. Uh, it's hard work because we've got to knock the render off first because it's that hard. And then we've been um, screwing these together. So these, these are supported by these. These are supported by these. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We've got to knock, this, knock the rest of this out. And it's going to here. Here. And then go to sales pass by 550. Most of the electric's been done now, but we know where the rest of them are. So there shouldn't be any electric uh, tripping out today. And that'll be, that's had a couple of days to go off now. And I also need to knock a pocket out there, 250 pocket for the steel. There you go, show them how thick that is. Yeah, it's even thicker in places, wasn't it? And it's it? cement as well, so. It's rock hard, and usually, yeah, look, it's about 30 mil there. You can see where it's, where it's the old back of the flue was. There's a black brick. It smells, you can smell the soot as well. But yeah, um, the, um, usually on the old buildings, the uh, sand cement really just falls off. But this was done probably about 20 years ago, so it's still good. So it's still doing the job. So I'm going to get my headphones, my ear defenders on, and my hard hat, and then um, get cracking with Alex.
so I'll take you over here. Dad's just said he's just looked and the joist is still propped, so we don't need to get the acros on the other side, thank goodness. Oh, that's a relief. But um while I'm out here, here's a little progress update with the uh, with the one big pile of shit. There you go. Um, and we've both got our headphones in today. I uh, I was think I was saying back before. I, I I stand corrected. I don't get how I used to do this all the time. It's just very distracting. I've uh, I've grown as a builder. <laughs> but since we're making all this noise, we've both got our headphones in for some tunes. I've got my Halloween playlist on. But yeah, um, what time are we on? Ten to nine. Not bad. So I'll get I'll. While Dad's making the noise, I'll tell you here. He's got all the plaster off that's needed for the pad stone. And there's just, obviously, we're just getting the measurements of where the wall's gonna end, which I think he's done now. So it's just a case of getting it down now. We're uh, aiming to get this done today, just done and dusted, because it's get this wall down, get the steel up. And if the weather holds off, just get this bit of snagging done. Obviously, you can cut this down if you need to, Dad. I know it's a lot of waffling. But we just got a few bits of snagging, a bit of uh, ends to repoint, um, all the foundation, which I've nearly chipped out. There we go. Um, but yeah, enough waffling. I'll get you back in there. Just to like, give you a quick progress update so you know where we're at. I'll uh, catch you in a bit. We have an acro. 
The reason we've got this acro is because we've, got, we've come across the two steels, which are the back of the house. Look at the size of them compared to what we're putting in. And apparently you go at them span from there to there. And they are packed onto the wall with the tiles. So because it, I saw that, we put this in for safety and then we'll get the steel in, we'll pack them back up onto the steel. Could have done with steel shims for that, you know, there's things we had at fixed job. Yeah. So yeah, just a precaution, we're leaving this in here because uh, the customer says it does span right across the back because um, the, the original house had like a lean to here and then that's the back of the house and then it's been extended from there, as you can see. So yeah, that's just a precaution. It's, it's in the way, but I'd rather have that in the way than have the house fall on us. We've had, work, we've, we've had worse in the way. Yeah, so we're coming back to here. So we're gonna crack on now and then it's 550 back for the pad stone and the steel. Bad boys are doing all the work now. As you can see, the top course is out, and that's as far as we're going with the actual wall. Obviously, we're going past, probably up to the cable. We've got 550 seating for the steel, plus the pad stone. So there's a big hole to come out of there yet. Probably just point it out. Uh, there. So 225, 450, plus 100, probably 100 mil past that and at least two courses plus I think two course a block plus another course out to come it's going to be a big hole there and that's going to go into the cavity obviously because that's the cavity wall returning to the house the back of the house the back of the extension it's weird you've got the extension then you've got another little bit that sticks out the back of the house and then you've got a lean to it that goes back to the back that's the upstairs back of the house it's a funny detail but um, anyway you can see the new bit which has been toothed in like that so that's our line it's coming down like that and um, this is going to be out we'll have this down in 10 minutes to 15 minutes easy because once the top's out it's just chop 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 Whack them out. all the uh, renders off which makes it easier this side obviously not but you just pop them off now look at the thickness of that and it's stuck like hip to a blanket yeah, so it's time for break anyway, so we'll see you after break. I said 10 to 15 minutes, I think it's quicker than that. It's that same old thing, open end. Once those top bricks are out, it's just pop them off. Even with the solid render on the back side, it doesn't, you just get under, the, get under the, well, under the bed and just pop off. And it's a straight corner there, just break every other brick. So that's where it's nice. So while that's clearing all this rubble up, I'm gonna get the two um, pockets cut out for the pad stones at each end and the steel. So um, and we also need to prop this ceiling with something. So we'll have a look for something. Right, quick one. We've got a joist dangling in mid-air there and we've got one. That one's okay that because that's in the corner against the wall. Um, but we don't know what's in, in this part here so we're going to take this out. Well, we're going to put two temporary acros under this steel. Take this out and put that piece of 4B2 in and put two acros in there. 
to catch whatever's dangling down just to, make, just to be on the safe side and we'll just come back a little bit give ourselves some room and then nearly nearly tidied up I'll tell you what might have to cut some off the top of that timber top of the timber? yeah I thought the whole timber was coming out no that's the lintel over that door we only got 340 there, we need 250 for the steel. Probably 15 20 minutes worth of tidying up to do when we can get the steel in. Look at that for a hole. Whoa, what a hole! What a hole! Uh, name that movie if you, if you saw this. Yeah, it's got so big because I want to get it. It needs to be a big, decent sized concrete block underneath the pad stone rather than a. If we leave the course of brick in, it would have been a little split. Don't like splits on the pad stone, so we're going for the bigger piece. Plus, this. Um, these are hollow blocks, so by the time I knocked it off it was a bit ropey. So I took it back down to the depth to the top of the next block. So that's that. I have to watch these three bricks here on. Yeah. And then we're gonna have to get the laser level and go along all these joists and make sure they're all packed. Because the way they're staggered they need packing out. And here's the other hole. So you got two fifty and then 150 lintel so we're gonna to have to notch that lintel out but I've just looked above there's nothing above it's only one two three four five courses of brick so we can notch that and it's still gonna have a good um, good hundred mil left on the wood pity we didn't have the saws all with us yeah so again that's already just a bit of trimming to do a bit of patching and there's also a, a joist up there a rogue joist which um, I don't think the steel is going to actually come in contact with that. If it, if it does, we'll have to notch it out because it's um, it's lower, a lot lower than all the others. So we're going to have to make it, put a level across, mark it out, and notch it. So there you go. And then we've obviously got all the bricks to patch in once the steel goes back up. So we've got a we've got a lot to do this afternoon. Well, the bricks have got to go in. Before, no, we can knock the ceiling out. We can knock holes out so we can get into it. So, um, yeah, so we'll get tidied up as best we can to a, to a manageable state. <laughs> Didn't need these. Got them just in case. We need the air defender attachments for Yeah, we've asked for that. Yeah, because we can't wear them with our air defenders because the, the headband on the air defenders aren't rig uh, rigid so they don't turn. Uh, it's stuck like this, so we need to. Um... Yeah, on the cheaper versions, you can move the headband round and wear it, the band at the back of your head. But anyway, that's why we didn't wear them. So, um, yeah, let's get tidied up and let's get a quick dinner. lunch we've got the laser level and we're going to set it up somehow and we're going to check all these are in line most of them should be but we need to pack them all down so they're all fit and then yeah that is wall above isn't it yeah a lot of patching to do there there's, we don't need to patch them all because there's no wall above it uh, right Laser level set up and get all these packers ready. See where the uh, different levels of the joists are. We need to make sure that's uh, taken up. I'm going to have to get I'll take all those screws out. Oh, they're all in the way. Which ones? Those three there. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get
to try and get this steel in now. I think we've got all the prep done. All the joints are going to the packers on so everything's flat. For a cup we can pack after. Uh, the bricks are going to have to get slid in after. And that's it. We need to get the steel in onto the trestles, onto the wall, jacked up and then these pad stones put in while Alex is patching the bricks above. So we've still got a lot to do yet. Don't know what time it is. Have a look. Gonna be another late one. Pad still needs cutting down still as well. So we've got look. Shit, three o'clock. onto the trestle. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put it up into that corner now. Okay. And then we're going to get a trestle underneath it. Okay. So as long as the trestle doesn't fall over. Two of us lift it and pull it up on the wheels. So if two of us lift it and the wheels are doing the rest of it. So I want the chest as far over as you can. Probably if it makes that acro. We take this back out. Do you want to take the weight? Like, just take the weight and I'll push. Wait, what, what, what are the holes for? So Dave can put timber inside it. Alright. I was about to say, is it upside down or not? No, it's the right way up. I'll check before you go in. So if you take the weight, I'll push right. Okay. That get out. Can we circle around the house? Hey, 
Okay. Go on. Go on. I hope you've got a really nice foot to help that Do you want to, um, can you duck under there? Or oh, circle around the house? I'll lift it up there and we put it on this one. I think we should try a little bit more first. While it's on wheels. You just take the weight out of the cushion. You just make sure it slides. Okay. Swing. Yeah, go on, do it. One more. You can try. Okay. Go on. Right, you get ready to move that trestle. So we need to... So we've had to come to a a decision which reluctant, yeah. The uh this is way too heavy for us both to lift. Way too heavy and it's gotta go it's gotta go up there. Uh, we're gonna have to cut back some uh ceiling before this even goes in. Have to get the um, multi tool. Yeah. So any but yeah, so um it's it's half three now, so the plan we're gonna we've had to decide is we're gonna get everything tidied up today, get the genie th the first thing in the morning tomorrow, and then get this steel up tomorrow because by the time Dad's gone to Hodgson's got a got a genie getting this lifted up and everything, it's, we're not gonna be back till about eight o'clock. So it's it's a crap decision, but it's the it's the only one we can make where we get back in a reasonable time. So. We're waiting until it goes dark now. Yeah. Dark enough, I so mean, we need to Easy. There's a lot of patching to do in here. And then we've still got a load of snagging to do outside as well, so for what it's worth, we'll just have to suck it up and come in another day. So, Dad, Dad's plan now then is he's going to get the ceiling cut back now, ready for the steel to go in and for us to patch the bricks back into it. I'll get, I'll pass in the multi tool since we don't have the recipo. But, um,. And I'll just get all this tidied up, hoovered, and uh, sent to the to the crap pile. So uh, I'll throw you on time lapse while we get our heads together.
<sighs> there we go. That's as uh, tidy as we can get it until everything's taken down. So we will see you tomorrow at Hodgins.